Welcome back. I've had something on my mind for a little while uh, and I figured that I might as well make the thing in a video so that you can see the process as well. I'm going to be making one of these old style torches. So not one that has cloth on the end of a stick and is covered in pitch that you would just light, but one that has sort of a cage on the end of a handle which you then put wood in and burn that wood to create uh, well, I suppose heat and light. I've cut out this template which is going to be the bottom plate of the cage so I can stick this down onto some like 2 mil plate and cut it out just using the angle grinder and once we've done that I'll make the handle, the handle can then rivet onto this and then from there I'll rivet all of the bits of the cage onto this bottom plate. So you can see it has these five tabs which we're going to bend up drill holes in and then that's where we can rivet the outer ring on and the uh, uprights. You'll notice that I took a file to the hole in the middle to make it a square hole and that's so that when we tenon the handle on it's not going to twist because obviously if it was a round tenon this if it came loose could twist around and spin whereas if it's a square it can't do that. So I'll now move on to making the handle. I've got a piece of 20 mil round bar heating up in the fire. I'm going to take that out forge, begin to forge down the tenon and then to upset that and get a nice square shoulder I've just made up this little crude block which again has a square hole in so I can put this on the anvil and then upset the tenon through that hole to create that nice flat shoulder. I've cut this off that handleable length and now flipped it round and I'm working on the other end. I was contemplating twisting the handle, but I think actually I'm just going to leave it, you know, go with that less is more in a way, just have this nice taper this clean taper on it so i'll heat this end back up and we can rear it on that plate uh, for the beginning of the cage
It's been some time since I've done anything on this video, but I've been forging down some 10 mil square bar into this section, which is 10 by five mil. So it's sort of like a, a chunky flat bar. Anyway, I'm gonna be using this to create the cage at the top. So I think the first thing to do is to create the rings. I'm gonna do three rings, the bottom one being the smallest, middle one, obviously medium sized ring, and then the top one, the largest. I've cut this bar to length, and my plan is for this one to be the middle ring. So I'm gonna roll it up, obviously, into a ring, and then forge weld the ends together. However, we need to forge a scarf on the end of the bar first, so we're gonna to have to upset both ends and then forge a bit of a bevel on it so that we can get that forge weld just running in nicely. However, to compensate for that, I've added a little bit of material, as we're gonna to have to lose some material in the forge weld uh, due to scale, um, and, and obviously when the piece of steel is up at a higher temperature, it's oxidizing quicker, so we actually lose material. So I've added a little bit of material onto this length, meaning that hopefully we don't lose too much material so that this ring has enough material to be the middle ring, if that makes sense. So I'll get this in the fire, upset the ends, create those scarves, and then forge weld it together. I'm gonna forge weld it now and just do this simply over the horn and blend all of these lines together. And then once that's done, we can refine the shape as at the moment, it's not really a very good circle. So we can neaten that all up once it's welded together. In the end, I actually decided to do these two rings the same size. So I think this one, or maybe this one, I can't remember which one I forged first, but it ended up being a little bit bigger than I was expecting it, um, probably because I added just a little bit too much material to compensate for how much I thought I was going to lose. But anyway, I think it's actually going to be better because I could have still made this second one smaller, but with them both the same size, and then this smaller one, which is obviously going to attach to the handle. I think it's going to work out better with all of the kinks in the bars. Because the bars, they're going to rear it on flat to this one and then flat to these two. So that means that the piece is going to have to have a kink in. Whereas if we had these three different, three different sizes, that means that it would have to have a kink and then another kink. Uh, that will make sense in a minute when I actually make the bars which are going to uh, rivet all of these pieces together. So that's the next thing to do. And all that I'm going to do for those is again take the same section bar and quickly grind a little radius just on the end and then put this kink in so that it is going to rivet on nicely to these pieces. I've drilled all the holes in the upright pieces and then I've only drilled one hole in each of the rings. 
And this is just basically to give myself a bit of leeway in case anything goes wrong and a hole doesn't end up lining up correctly. So I'm going to start by riveting the bottom ring onto the handle with an upright and then go around for the five uprights. So we'll end up with this ring on with all five uprights riveted on. We can then move on to the next ring and then the top ring. To actually rivet the, the pieces together, I'm using four mil bright steel as I found that I can rivet this cold and it doesn't crack. So it's just so much easier being able to rivet it all cold. Well, <laughs> seems to be working. It's pretty cool that. I'll try not to set anything on fire. But uh, yeah, there we go. Can you actually see it? Yeah, you can see it on the film. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. What I expected, pretty much. I'm surprised more stuff isn't falling out onto my hands. That piece is about to fall out. Ooh, there it goes. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've seen me make this pretty cool medieval style torch, feel as if I need to go walk around in a castle or something. It gives off quite a bit of heat, but I suppose it is just a fire, literally. I've just put some kindling in it and then lit it in the forge. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? It's all riveted together, all traditionally made as it would have been, I mean, bar the use of an angle grinder, but you could easily do that with files or cut it out with a chisel if, if it's uh, when it's hot, you know, actually cut out the bottom piece. There goes a piece. Uh, cut out that bottom piece with a chisel rather than an angle grinder if you want to do it completely traditional. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Just watching it in the video. Yeah, I'm really happy with that one. Anyway, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Don't play with fire, very important. Gotta wait for it to go out now.